Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here with a brand new video giving you guys a tour of my DVD and Blu-ray room. I recently did a video touring my bedroom showing the posters in there, uh, the autographs and toys and stuff like that in there. Now I'm going to do the same kind of video in here uh, showing you guys because I have a whole bunch of autographs as well in there as well as some posters and toys. So it's pretty much just going to be me going all through around the room showing you all kind of stuff and showing you guys in detail and kind of talking a little bit about the autographs and where I got them and you know the events and all that kind of stuff. So let the DVD and Blu-ray tour video begin. But before we go into the room or take a look at the things that are around, you know, uh, going into the room, there's a bunch of different posters in here on the wall. Like up here is the poster for um, Universal Studios Florida. This is like a really early one back when like Beetlejuice was still there and Earthquake and a bunch of different stuff that's all like um, doesn't exist anymore uh, there. And I have a bunch of different posters back here for like It's Pat, uh, the All That 10th Anniversary of a Union poster. I don't remember what's it, what's, what this was in. This was like in like... Um, some kind of magazine, like Nickelodeon Magazine or something like that. A bunch of different posters back here. You can't see them very well, but like Bill and Ted's Bogus Journeys back there. Our Ernest Scared Stupid. Suburban Commandos back there. You have a, this is like a Hardee's poster for um, Home Alone 2. A bunch of different stuff up here, like some pins from Comic-Con. This is a thing that was signed by Jeff Lieberman for Blue Sunshine. A marquee thing here for Machete. Um, one for Orphan up here, Presence Day poster, the slasher film that I was in, a bunch of different like free things that I got. This is like a, a little poster thing I made for like health class or something. I think I was in like 11th or 12th grade and it was just like on stuff that I liked. So it was like DVD, uh, Fangoria, The Ring, Ginger Snaps, It's Pat. So it was all kind of stuff that I liked. Uh, but like on here around the, the room out here, uh, like posters up here for Three Stooges, for Girls Gone Dead, the slasher film that I was in, uh, Sasquatch Assault, uh, Whaley House, 1224. This is a movie that hopefully someday comes out. Uh, Norbit. Uh, the Monsters Go Home. And then on the door is a bunch of different uh, stickers I got, like for Epcot. And some movie posters, Lords of Salem sticker, Gatorland, Ron John Surf Shop. Uh, the poster here that I got years back signed by Lloyd Kaufman for Poltergeist. Uh, Poltergeist Night of the Chicken Dead. Wow, a releasing sticker. But then when you go in, we'll head on in. And I'll probably have to turn the light for some of this so you can see it well. But like I said, I'm just going to pretty much just go through all this stuff. And show you guys. I'm not showing you in detail about the movies though, because that'd be like a whole other thing if I was to go across like all these. Maybe at some point if I can like, you know, move a lot of stuff because I have a lot of stuff in front of things. So maybe, but I did do a video like that though, if you guys haven't seen it yet, showing you a look at the entire horror section. So I'll put a link for that below and I just go, you know, around all the ones and kind of talk in detail about some of them. But I guess we'll start over here first on the other side of the door. There's another Lords of Salem sticker. Um, some more stickers here that I've gotten, like I Love Trauma, a poster here for the movie The Possession. I like basically anytime I get stickers, I usually put them on this door. I did the same thing back in the, my house in Maryland, like my bedroom, always put like stickers on them. Uh, this thing, I've had this forever. This was from, um, I, I got this at Sun, I know, uh, Sam Goody back when South Park was brand new and this was like a like a kind of like a wooden thing for the movie but I don't know I, I, that, that's one thing I've had forever same with this thing this weird old picture of me that I I don't know where I got this done at some theme park maybe Dutch Wonderland or something like that I don't even know what year it was from or anything like that uh, three stooges like tin thing here uh, a free thing I got at comic-con for the movie hackers to promote the blu-ray of that uh, and I might have to put the light on. We'll see how it is in some of these spots. But like a Gremlins figure there, um, reaction figure, Escape from New York, American Ultra poster. This is a poster I've had forever for um, Ghostbusters 2. Like I've had this since I was a little kid. Whenever this first came out, 89, I've had this since then. Same with this um, Big Top Pee Wee poster. I never had a poster for Pee Wee's Big Adventure, but I always had this Big Top Pee Wee one. So this one's an original, not like a reprint or anything like that. So this is an original. Same with the Ghostbusters. They're not reprints or anything like that. Uh, let's see. And I'll put, on, I'll put on the lights for these so you guys can see this a little bit better though. All right, so the light's on now. I can't have this on too long. I have to kind of put it on and off because it overheats sometimes when it's on too long. But uh, this, all that thing, I think I got this at Comic-Con. And this is a autograph I have from um, David Ficino. Ficino. I never had to say his last name right, but you know who played Bud Bundy in Married with Children? That's one of those shows I keep on wondering if they, they're going to do like a reboot of that. Because I, I think there's been talk about that. And this is a Tom Atkins autograph I got. 
Um, I think I got this at Horror Find, I believe, many years back. Uh, this is a signed autograph for Halloween 3, which I always really loved Halloween 3. This is a Jason Mewes autograph that I got from him. I think that was at uh, Horror Find as well. And the, uh, the um, Bud Bundy autograph, I think that was at Monster, either Monster Mania or Chiller, I believe. This is a John Ashton autograph I got, you know, um, you know, who played, um, you know, Gomez Adams in the original Adams Family. I, I think that was at Monster Mania as well. This is a Veruca Assault autograph down there. And then, like, I got that uh, from Danny the Sinistalker, that um, Michael Jordan uh, doll, you know, a talking doll. This is one thing, a toy that I loved as a kid, and I, I got, like, maybe six or seven years ago again, the um, Police Academy play, Playhouse. Uh, please, please can me place that house and it always as a kid though I used to kind of mix it up with the uh, Ghostbusters house because they kind of had a similar quality but it was based on the uh, Police Academy TV series that's why I have that one next to it and I have some of the figures in there this is the Ash vs. Evil Dead bust that I got I think it was an Italian release of that I showed it in a video unboxing that one this is one of the Police Academy um, backing cards for the figures. And then um, over here is the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, um, the 4K with has the record in there. There's an autograph back here, too, from um, Christmas Evil that I have from the director. This is a Bob um, Denver, you know, um, autograph, you know, who played Gilligan and Gilligan's Island. Now, this one I didn't get from him, so I don't, I can't say for sure if it was an authentic autograph. Hopefully it is. I got that years ago on eBay. I never got to meet him before he passed away. This is one of the Scream Factory buttons that I got from uh, Comic-Con. I have a number of these ones. That's one of those things you have done, like, of your um, profile at Disney. That's the Invisible Man uh, figure thing that I got where, you know, if you can't see him, it's like a pro, pro item that I got. This thing back here is kind of a rare thing. This is for the Revenge of the Nerds movie that got, they shot like a little bit of it and then it got canceled. And they were promoting it at Comic-Con, so that's like a little like postcard to promote that. And then um, this thing I've had forever, this was actually my dad's, this Jason Lives Friday the 13th one. And I've had this forever. This used to be in my dad's like dark room. I always really liked that thing. And back there is a Ray Parker uh, Jr. autograph that I have. You know, I got that, I believe, at Chiller. And there's a signed Witcher Massacre VHS box that uh, the director, John McBride, sent me years ago. A Toxic um, Avenger 4 Citizen Toxie signed autograph from uh, Lloyd Kaufman. There's a pin there for the Greasy Strangler. This is like a print, a Beetlejuice print that I got. Uh, Brad Dorf autograph that I think I got this at a convention called like CreepCon. It was in Baltimore. They only had it one time. It was at the Inner Harbor. And it was a convention I really liked. It was one of the first ones I had gone to. And um, he doesn't do too many conventions. And this is back when it was really cheap. It was probably like um, maybe like. $20 for the autograph and I, and I regretted though not getting an autograph from Warwick Davis that time and down here I have to cover up one part of this but it's an autograph I have from um, George Romero that I got um, I can't remember I think that was at one of the um, horror finds I believe then there's some some like um, postcards and stuff like that that I got from Comic-Con and then over here is the um, autograph I got from St Stephen Trevorowski you know who was from um, Tons of different movies, you know, of course, Groundhog Day and Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde. I know, I've been a fan of him forever. He's a great character actor on lots of TV shows and everything. Uh, another one of the um, the buttons that I got from Comic-Con, you know, at the Scream Factory, Shout Factory booth. A uh, Lance Hendrickson autograph here. This is like a calendar that I got, like a promo calendar for the movie Keanu. More of the, uh, you know, Shout Factory, Scream Factory buttons back there. This is an autograph from James Duvall uh, for the movie May, which is a really great underrated film. Uh, Jeffrey Combs autograph for, um, you know, Reanimator. A signed uh, Kevin Smith figure, a James Hon Bob figure. A bunch more of the um, Scream Factory buttons back here. These are doosty, though. I, need, I definitely need to dust these ones. There's like a school a photo picture like of my class photo, and you see me <laughs> up there on the top right there and then let me see any other ones over here there's an autograph from um Haley Bennett back here which is a I don't think she I've never seen her at any other conventions but this is like before she got really known she's been in lots of stuff now but this was for the movie The Hole in 3D and it's Haley Bennett and Joe Dante both signed it picture of me and Danny Trejo on the set of uh you know uh, Ghost Quake this is an autograph for um 
back here for um, you know an actor who played Isaac in Children of the Corn. This is a uh, Jeff Lieberman autograph for Just Before Dawn, like it's a really really great underrated slasher film uh and then an autograph here for, Lu for louise fletcher you can't see it too well it's real dark but for um flowers in the attic and this is the autograph from the hitchhiker from the texas chainsaw massacre uh autograph of zach galligan from the gremlins this is um the actor from balls of fury you know who's been a bunch of different stuff i also have uh, you know dan fogler he also signed this this indie horror movie that he made I got this at like uh, Wizard World or one of those ones. This is a Lorraine Newman autograph. You know, I don't, I haven't seen her do too many autographs in a long time. Uh, I, I, you know, conventions or anything recently. That was at one of the chillers as well. A My Pet Monster figure up there that Danny got me. Um, some of the figure, like the cloth figures up here for like Ghostface up there. Um, you know, this was one of the NECA exclusive ones at Comic Con of Miss Voorhees. And this was like the Happy Death Day um, mask. It wasn't exactly the real one, but I used it for the Happy Death Day parody that I did. Um, a uh, Leatherface figure, Friday the 13th Part 2, uh, Jason in the, uh, you know, potato sack. Uh, you know, um, Freddy Krueger there, another Freddy Krueger there. A lot of these ones were from Comic-Con that I got. Let me see, is there any other autographs in here? I think that's the main amount of the autographs in here. I don't believe there's any other ones that I'm missing. I think I showed all the other things. Now I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff up on the top. And I'm going to kind of do it in sections. And I may have to move a few things to show you. But there's a whole lot of stuff on the top shelf. Like um, toys and uh, DVDs and all that kind of stuff. So I'll kind of show you those in, in detail and, and stuff like that next. But up here though is real like, you know, hoarded up with things. So there's a lot of different stuff up here. Like there's some of the, um, another one of those busts that I got for uh, Evil Dead. Uh, and I showed those in a video in detail. This is one of those um, VHS style, you know, cases that they had at Target, which were like Target exclusives. I only got a couple of those ones. That's the Fast Times of Ridgemont High one. But up here though is like a bunch of different figures, like Jigsaw. This is like one of these alien uh, models that I ended up uh, painting with my dad like years and years ago. I think it's like one of the few models that I ever did. This is a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation uh, bust. That's the Ma uh, promo item hat that I got. And up there is um, one of those Walking Dead ones that they, they used to make. They haven't made them in years where they would have like the, the Blu-rays inside. And um, that one is the one with the, the zombie with a screwdriver in its eye. And this thing here was like a, um, I think this is a flash drive for promo item flash drive for the uh, girl in the spider's web. And then uh, this thing, Danny the Center Starker got me a Dumb and Dumber, uh, you know, like a um, uh, thing they would have like in the video rental store kind of thing. There's a bunch of different like bobbleheads up there. Like I said, a lot of this stuff needs to be dusted up there. I have not done a lot of dusting up there. That's the uh, Scooby-Doo, the complete uh, series in the uh, Haunted House. That's the one thing I was glad to be able to get at Comic-Con, the Hank Hill, um, you know, uh, 2018 exclusive figure. And then and I don't have a ton of, you know, um, Funko Pop. Those are some of the few ones I have. These are the uh, Pennywise, you know, ones. And this is for the new film, the uh, FY exclusive one, uh, the, or the newer film. Uh, this is a, 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 the Labyrinth, um, you know, a box set there, Blu-ray box set. And then that was one of the um, things that I got for uh, Scarface. That's um, the um, another VHS promo item thing for Teen Wolf. And then some Gilligan's Island stuff back there, like the Gilligan's Island like um, figure play set and Marianne's cookbook back there, Mr. Bean bobblehead, um, you know, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind Anniversary Edition. And that one, I remember getting that for really cheap, the um, collection of um, Planet of the Apes and the Ape Head uh, bust. I got that one really cheap, like, I think it was like $30 or something. It was on sale at one point years ago. And that's the... Um, the, I always loved these as a kid. These were for the Jetsons movie toys that were from, from Wendy's. And then this was the thing I was glad to get. This pearl item here for um, sunscreen. Like uh, sunscreen that smells like chicken that Popeye's, I mean, sorry, KFC gave out. Uh, and then these are some of the Simpsons Tic Tacs. And then the, the uh, Monsters, uh, you know, Monsters, the complete series, uh, you know, uh, DVD box set. And then Zombie, the 4K edition. That's the paint can there for um, Home Alone. Um, and I think I remember... Pre that, that one became easy to get, but I remember pre-ordering that at Comic-Con. 
the Cujo special edition there from the UK, the Dawn of the Dead that has like all the different cuts of the film. And then up here though, uh, like I said, there's a lot of stuff. So I can't see some of the stuff behind. You can kind of like peek back here a little bit to see some of the stuff, but it's all kind of like a lot of things. Like this weird little computer item thing that I got. I don't even remember where I got that. Some more box sets here, like the Steven Spielberg collection. A steelbook here for Resident Evil, Farscape, Campbell Holocaust, um, the VH, I mean the, the DVD of that one, the Sleepaway Camp one that has like the collection in there. Uh, let's see other ones up here. Some sign stuff up here. Like this is the In the Deep uh, DVD. This is um, the movie 47 Meters Down originally got released under the name In the Deep. And it ended up in some targets before it got recalled because it ended up it was originally going to have a just to go straight to DVD. But then they, the company ended up buying it for a theatrical release. So they had to recall all those ones. The signed uh, Trolls steelbook that I got from the director. This is a uh, thing that I bought like at a thrift store. Like a Malcolm in the Middle kind of like screener tape. And it was like looked like a Cracker Jack box. And I always was really glad to find that. Uh, steelbook for the movie Revenge. Uh, VHS uh, 2. In, you know, it's actually a VHS copy of VHS 2. I think I got that at, um, at uh, where did I get that? At FYE, I believe. This is the Cure for Wellness kind of like jar pro, pro item thing that I got. Somewhere I have like a, um, uh, like a bathrobe thing. Another Alfred Hitchcock collection up there. Some Guardians Pearl Kids, The Quiet Place Mondo Steelbook. Back there though is the um, the you know Wonder Years, which was the Wonder Years one that you know the complete collection, but it's in the locker. And this is the really one of my favorite rare things that I got from Paramount, which is a promo item for Bumblebee on VHS, and the movie is actually on there in VHS. I have like um, the Us uh, Steelbook there signed by the director. The uh, Steelbook there for. Um, Hocus Pocus, the Best Buy exclusive one. Now I'm standing up on the couch here, so it's like, don't fall, Sean. But um, up here, though, is some of those Disney tins that were, were sold at the Disney store, which are like um, the Disney Treasures tins. I have four different ones of those. And those were like videos of um, like rare footage of like the opening of Disneyland and Disney theme parks and that kind of stuff. Up here, though, is um, some of the NECA figures, like the, um, you know, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 1, uh, the Friday the 13th one. A lot of these ones were from Comic-Con. The uh, Stranger Things Season 2 Target exclusive VHS. Um, you know, DVD to be in a um, Blu-ray in a VHS case. This is one that I was really glad to get at the time, this Peanut Butter Solution. Uh, Severn Films now released this one. But this is the Canadian release of this, and I think it was only sold in, like, Walmarts or something. It was a big to-do for me to figure out how to find it and, you know, order one. A uh, figure of uh, Chloe Grace from the uh, Carrie remake. This is um, like Necromantic 2 back here. The Mondo Ghost in the Shell Steelbook. This is one of those ones. Uh, one of the only ones I got that was like um, when they were promoting Deadpool 2. Uh, you know, when they were adding Deadpool onto covers of things. So this was the one for um, Fight Club. Uh, I got a Troll 2 edition I have here from Eureka Entertainment. Uh, but I have a bunch of different Hellraiser ones. This is uh, Hellraiser, the collection here from Arrow Video. Uh, and then also this is the Hellraiser trilogy from Turbine Media. This is the German release one. Uh, Halloween in the, the slipcover for the um, producer's cut. Uh, Wet Movies Out and About the Movie 2 is up there. Uh, this is a t-shirt for uh, Fast and Furious Around High. But it's like in a style, like a VHS style case. Uh, back here, like, Tommy Fitton made that of me. But there's a bunch of different stuffed animals back there, like the Pee Wee doll. And then, like, a baby, baby's, ki baby's Kids hat that I have for years. Now I'm going to move to the other side. Uh, back here, and not fall. Try not to fall. And these are some of the um, Kevin, you know, Kevin McAllister, Harry Lime, and Marv uh, figures that I got for Home Alone. I, I remember getting those at Toys R Us. And then, like, some um, uh, Reptire cereal up here. Uh, Jason Voorhees cereal. These are Funko made these ones. Good Guy Dolls uh, cereal. This one here I really like. I got a Comic-Con. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey uh, Death uh, figurine from NECA. Uh, Donnie Darko, the Arrow video. Let's see. Let me try and move so I don't fall. Uh, over down this way now is, um, this is, you know, Hooter from um, the, uh, you know, Captain EO. Uh, Suicide Squad, Joker O's. This is the Princess Bride, um, you know, um, uh, Criterion Collection one. The Phantasm Collection back there. 
uh, House. And then these are the separate releases for 3 and 4 because those weren't in the American Blu-ray. Uh, the Shaun of the Dead exclusive that I have. And that's the My Pet Monster uh, doll. That's and I did not originally have that. That's not my original one from when I was a kid. That one ended up... Um, I don't know what happened to that. So I rebought that maybe in like 2006 or something like that. So let's see now. Move back here. Now back here, like I said, there's so much stuff up here you can't see it. But back behind all this is the Pee Wee's Playhouse set. This is one of the other Target uh, VHS style ones that I have. You know, Blu-ray VHSs for Jaws. Now I know they just announced two Jaws is going to be coming to 4K in June. Which I can't wait for that one. The uh, you know Stranger Things uh, VHS style Blu-ray for Target for season one. Turn Living Dead Part 2 up there. It was a like second copy I have. Cannibal Ferox. This is one thing I really like. The um, This is like a promo item for White Boy Rick. And it has a slip cover that, to look like it's um, like, a, like a 90s kind of uh, or 80s style VHS. Uh, up here, uh, Cesar Nato's Deadly Christmas. This is a horror movie that I'm in. That's a VHS edition of that. A signed uh, big box uh, style VHS uh, style thing for uh, Puppet Master. The uh, complete series set of uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse, Spookies. That was the Spookies that I got. Uh, the, I think it was a Canadian release or something before that one got the Vinegar Syndrome release recently. Uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the FY exclusive edition, which has this uh, exclusive slipcover. That's where the tin is. Everyone was asking about the tin for Friday the 13th. It's back in here. More, I have some extra copies of uh, Motel Hell and Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3, and those are sealed ones. Other than that, up here, I believe I showed all this stuff already. Now, the only stuff I didn't kind of show you guys was like uh, just some of the stuff that's up on, you know, the shelves. Like I said, I have everything kind of put like this because I don't, I, I don't know, I just kind of like display things like this. But up here, there was a bunch of different movies. Uh, some of the stuff here that I'm displaying, though, is like uh, Candyman 2. Uh, you know, that's the uh, German uh, Blu-ray of that one. And then, like, the Massive Horror, the complete series, both the seasons are back there of that. These things I really like from Turbine Media. They were done to look like VHSs of, like, um, to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Part 1 and 2, and Leatherface. Uh, and then, like, uh, some signed stuff is up here, too. Like, um, uh, Wetmoy gave me this. This is signed by um, Eric Edwards, you know, who was in uh, Senior Trip. And he also played Murph in Prom Child 2. Uh, let's see any other signed ones. This is the director of Slime City, um, and then like a director, the rooms autograph from the from the um, Tommy Wiseau that I got years and years ago. Uh, the Dentist and the Dentist Two. Uh, you know these ones don't have Blu-ray releases in the U.S. Those are German Blu-rays of that one. The Reflecting Skin, a steel book over there. Now these ones, these are all like uh, movies that I acted in that I have another copy of. So stuff like uh, Girls Gone Dead, Ghost Quake, uh, Dead Ant, Witches Brew. Yeah, so all across here is all stuff that I, you know, had acted in. And same with uh, down over here on this side. Back here, though, is where, you know, you see where I'm sitting, you know, when I'm doing the, uh, the Blu-ray reviews and everything. So this is like the backdrop I have for these ones. You know, uh, you know the VHS style uh, covers. These are all the Mill Creek releases ones. If you guys are wondering where those ones are from, but other than that, though, that's pretty much everything. And like I said, there's just still some stuff around here that I kind of display, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that pretty much shows you everything. And then in here, though, is the um, the player. It's the I still do have an HD DVD player. If I ever have to play anything HD, that's my region free um, Blu-ray player down there. The cable box, and then the TV, which is a 4K TV, and then the uh, 4K player is there. Uh, the PS4, like I said, the VCR down there. So I, I, I need to figure out how to hook that back up to the newer TV. And then this is just some stuff that I have to watch still for future videos. And also over here, I never really show that. This is the spot too, where I always put the stuff that I have to review. So the stuff that I'm reviewing on Tuesdays, I always put that stuff right here. So anyway though, guys, that's pretty much all the stuff in here. And then like two, to tell you like where everything is, like right here is mainly like the mix mixture of Blu-rays in this vicinity, like kind of a mixture of like comedy, drama, and all those ones together. Uh, down here though, is like a lot of TV related things. Uh, a lot of dramas are right behind here. Uh, documentaries are all behind this stuff. Same with the stuff that I had acted in. 
Uh, over here, though, is all comedies though, behind all this. So it's all comedies behind these ones, comedies back here. Uh, and then all back here as well as all TV related behind these and then all TV related behind these. Like I said, at some point when I f feel like moving all these things little by little, I will. And I'll kind of go around these ones because th the section I'm in the most is horror. So those are the most accessible and the ones that I can mostly, uh, you know, get to and see. Um, and down here, there was a lot of like TV related things as well, like bigger TV related box sets and things like that. But I feel like this gives you a good overview of all the stuff in here, guys. But anyway, though, guys, like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again, guys, for all the support, and I'll see you guys later.